Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Physics Games. Today I'm going to show you how to make single bio maps in 7 Days to Die Alpha 20. This is something that lots of people have requested and is absolutely possible with all the information I'm going to give you through this video. So let's get on with the process and I'll show you what to do. In order to create our single bio map, we need these files. In fact, we actually just need the 6K, 8K and 10K biome files. I've included 4K files for any legacy maps. And you do this by subscribing to the channel and hitting the like button because that will help me make future content. And also you need to head to the link in the description, which shows a link to my Google Drive account where I have shared these files with you. If we click on a specific folder, then we can see that we have four folders, desert, forest, snow, and wasteland. If we were to go into the desert folder, we would find a biomes.png file, and it is all one color. The same goes for different biomes. They just have a different color. With these, we'll be able to create our single biome map. So in seven days to die, we are gonna create a new world. We give ourselves a game name, we pick the game world, new random world, and then we could just hit start, but we can also pick the size of the map. So by selecting the world size, either six, eight or 10K, we can get different size maps and use the world generation seed in order to type in a word, a phrase, a number, anything from your keyboard in order to make a new world. I'm gonna stick in the word like, and we must remember the generated world name, West Tixuwaru Valley. Now we're going to hit start and generate the world. Now we're in, let's go and find some different biomes. So here we are, I found a junction on this map where we can see forest, snow and also the desert. We're now going to change this so it all becomes snow. Let us now go through the process of making our single biome map. We have the files here that we've downloaded from the Google Drive. We generated an 8K map and we're going to make everything snow. So I'm going to click on snow and find the biomes.png file. Right clicking on this, we can then copy it. If you're in Windows 10, it will look more like this and we can hit copy down here. Next, we're going to close this and we are going to hit our start button and type percentage app data percentage and hit enter. This will bring up a whole bunch of files that will show everything on your PC hidden away that the games and applications you have use. Look for seven days to die and generated worlds. And at the top here, out of all the worlds that I have generated, we can see West Tixuaru Valley, which we generated just now in game. So double clicking on there, we can see the biomes.png file. And if I open that up, we can see all the different colors showing the different biomes. And I think we were standing about here looking over the snow and grassland or forest and desert area. So we are going to basically not right click on the actual file, but right click to the side or at the bottom. And when we do, we have the ability to paste our new file there. Of course, if you want to go back to the previous file, you should take a copy of that too. But if I replace this, this file is now completely white. It is snow zone. By continuing our game, we have exactly the same game with trees from the forest, trees from the snow biome, and also the cacti from the desert. Now this might be an option you wish to play, a bit of fun, but if you want everything to be a single biome map with absolutely no different biome contents, then you need to start a brand new game. So here we are in the game, the same map, and everything now is a single biome. We can see in every direction it is snow. And if I go into debug mode, into god mode, and then fly high in the sky, we shall see wherever we travel, it is now snow with snow trees. If I shoot over to here, which I believe was desert beforehand, we can see standard POIs sitting around in game. And however far I fly, we are going to have a proper snowy biome. And here we go. This looks very much like a forest town, but of course it is not. It is now purely 
snow and it is full of all those horrible mountain lions and all those things. So I hope you enjoyed the video and it's been useful. Please hit subscribe and like. I think I've said it enough in this video, but I really need it to grow my channel. So there's loads more videos for you to watch. Just, you know, join me most days of the week. I'll see you later. Bye!